In this video, I'm going to be giving you a money play that you can use in Madden 23 to beat every defense in the game. And I wanted to help people kind of understand where offense is going just in terms of the competitive meta, how people are going to be playing defense, and just some things that you might want to just kind of keep in the back of your head. In Madden 23, I think you're going to see, uh, at least in the beginning of the year, you're going to see a lot of man coverage. I do also think you're going to get a lot of cover two blitzes, DB fire, nickel blitz two, slant zone two, some of those cover two style of blitzes. So you need to be equipped to pick up the blitz, and you need to be equipped to beat man and cover two, at least right off the rip and then we've also going to uh again we're also going to walk you through just kind of some tips and tricks kind of best practices year in and year out for uh beating man and zone now the thing that i do want to say before we get too far in the video like i said is the zones are a lot better in madden 23 you can't just blindly throw stuff like you could in madden 22 there definitely is a read however that doesn't necessarily just mean that you're not going to be able to be effective it just means you've got to kind of, again, rethink your route combinations. You have to respect the fact that the pass rush can actually get there. And so you have to, again, take what the defense gives you in order to be effective on offense. Now, um, I'm going to be talking about the New England Patriots trips tight end today. Um, there's a route combination that I really like out of that formation. And before we get too far into the video, I do want to let you know that uh, I've got a full Trips Tight End offensive ebook. If you guys want to check that uh, Trips Tight End ebook out, uh, it's going to be updated over the course of the next month to all new Madden 23 stuff material, things that we've got in the beta that we can apply to Madden 22 in order to help you prepare. And then, of course, day one will continue consistently um, update that ebook as well. So 10 bucks gets you access to all of our ebooks, including my Trips Tight End guide and you get all the updates to it as well. So you just join the Patreon, and basically you get access to everything. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this play from Trips Tight End. And you could actually find this play in a lot of different formations, um, but the route that we're going to show you why we need Trips Tight End from New England, and, and I'll come back to that in just a second, but the, the play that we're going to – you could do the same concept out of inside cross – um, if you, especially if, if you don't have tight end apprentice, you could if you have hot run master, you could do it out of anything. Um, you could do it out of PA counter go, which I would recommend if you have the ability to do it out of PA counter go, uh, because PA counter go gives a lot better blocking. Uh, but with that being said, we're going to show it to you today out of Pat's YN, and the main reason as to why is because of the fact that we have this wheel route to the left side, and we have um, and we have this like kind of unique in route to the tight end. So this play is, a, I think, the best play from Trips Tight End um, in the beta. And the reason why is because it can break down every coverage and it can give you a chance to be able to bomb uh, cover four, cover three, and cover two, as well as man coverage if you have a good route running. Route running is crucial in the beta. Um, that's something that you need to think about. And I think route techs, stuff to beat man coverage is really important. Okay, But anyways, here's the route combination. And again, I'm just going to set up kind of a basic, you know, double flat defense. Uh, but here's the basic route combination. The route is we're going to slant circle. Now from here, we could leave this wheel route on the left. And I do occasionally do that. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, and then we're going to, to block the running back. But for right now, we're going to just flat this guy. And this is the core route concept. Now let's say, for example... Um, well, yeah, and this is a core route concept. Now, if you have a tight end apprentice, you can put this guy on a tight end apprentice post, and uh, it will be very effective as well. But basically, we're going to look to the slant. That's not there. So then we're going to look to the tight end. And as you can see, the tight end route is money, uh, and, and it will be money in Madden 22. It's one of the best ways to beat man to man. Okay, so now I wanted to show you something else. And to do this, we're going to essentially kind of model – a purple zone over on this player and again I just want to show you kind of some a manipulation that I think is really in interesting so what we can do with this is just simply slant the circle if we want to snap here we certainly can we could block the running back uh, blocking the running back in Madden 23 is a lot more effective than blocking the running back in Madden 22 you could also put the running back on a block and release you could put him on a flat um, but just kind of you know he's kind of a flex you can do whatever you want Watch this wheel run on the left. You'll see that if I could pass lead this to the left side, and I can actually, because the zones will suck into the post, so this is a switching concept 
that I actually really like, especially against uh, zone drops. Now, another thing that I like about this, let's say they play Tampa 2. This gives us kind of a unique concept for Tampa 2, which is another reason why I like this wheel. So against Tampa 2, what you can do is you'll see he'll turn up field, and then I can just pass lead him to the left side, and as you can see, it can get over the top of those clouds because the, the zones in Madden 23, I they are, like you said, are a lot better than Madden 22. They just get sucked in a lot. And so that's just something that you have to kind of take into consideration as you're putting together your system, as you're putting together your scheme. And so this, this wheel route, I really like it um, to just kind of pull zones uh, a little bit better. This gives me a little bit better of a zone pull, especially for this tight end coming back across. And then the other thing that I want to show you here is if you watch this, if you wait on this, so your slant, I could throw that there, wait on it. And now my post, once he kind of crosses that middle third, that can be a nice little dot against the cover three defense. Now, like I said, I think that cover two blitzing is certainly going to be one of the most popular ways that people will attack you. And so just to illustrate this, I'm going to put the standard 3-3-5 wide blitz without the contain and then uh, just kind of put my guy on a spy here in the middle of the field. So this is a very pop. This will be right here, a very popular concept. It will also be popular if they want to do like soft squats on the outside. So just kind of imitating, I think, one of the coverages that you will see a lot. Okay, so the, if we take this concept and again, we just run our simple, you know, slant pattern. If you watch this wheel on the left, you'll see they'll switch off and then the vert hook will actually match there. Now, again, this is only if they, you know, don't have zone drops on or they have actually have their match coverage and match principles, you know, kind of put on the on the on the forefront here. But the problem that that creates because of these matching concepts, you're going to see that this is actually going to create a little bit of a problem for them. And the reason why is because now the whole middle of the field is open. And so they've got a user the slant, and that's going to leave the post. Okay? And, and again, it's actually, I think, fairly easy. It's hard, it's hard for them to use her both. It just is. It's hard for them to use her both. Now, uh, I want to cover something else about cover two real quick, and that is the fact that this is a really good uh, cover two beater over the middle of the field. So if they're not getting a match principle on the on their cover two, you get something like this more. You'll see that this post just absolutely crucifies cover two. And as you can see, I mean, the slant still is very effective for pulling a deep half out of the way. Deep halves are one of the best zones in the game. However, they can't stop this route combo. And that's part of what makes, I think, this route combo very important uh, to start the year out with. Now, I said that this was a very uh, was an effective man beater. And we'll just show you. I think you're going to get a little bit of, you know, you need corner routes this year or some. I think, you know, these corner routes are good um, for man. But this wheel route on the left side, don't sleep on that. If you get pressed man, it is certainly a read. You'll see right here I can throw it up. I couldn't, Brady couldn't quite get it over the top of him. But that's something that, again, in Madden 23, that's a little bit of a translation issue. But a lot of people in Madden 23 right now, they're going to shade their coverage inside and they're going to shade their coverage underneath if they're going to play some man-to-man. -man. Well, what you'll see here is if this is shaded underneath, now I can lob this over the top and I've got to step on him. Now, if that's Scotty Miller, I'd probably get the, get the catch. Uh, but again, speed, route running, those are things that you're going to need to look for, especially if you're building your mutt team early on. Uh, for regs, in my opinion, as it stands right now, um, you know, everything's kind of similar. One of the main issues with the Packers is they don't have Devontae Adams anymore, so they don't have someone that can get consistent separation man-to-man. -man. But anyway, um, you see here my tight end post will generally, generally beat man. I'm going to go ahead and sub in scotty miller and chris godwin just to kind of show you like if you get some horses on the field that can actually run some routes they'll get open and that's kind of one of the things that i think in madden 23 that's just kind of one of the reasons like if, for the last three years that i've been playing madden regs in regs um man coverage is a lot more effective than it is in mutt i think that's for two reasons first abilities and second the actual ratings themselves you don't have people that have hit the 90 route running thresholds but you see here chris godwin he's able to get separation he's got a little bit better route running than uh whoever it was that i was using uh out there before him okay so those are just some things um that you should think about just in terms of your offense and uh, i want to show you something else here real quick and that's this i want to show you this wheel route and then i'll show you something else um that's really interesting about this in terms of how this plays against cover four drop 
So you'll see here the fade. And this is actually, um, yeah, can't quite get it. But this is actually a lot better uh, in the beta, in my opinion, against cover for a drop than anything. And the reason why is in Madden 22, uh, they actually made the inside quarter adjustment fairly effective. Um, like you could just have like an inside quarter uh, with a zone drops on and you could be able to hit, you, you couldn't be able to hit this. In Madden 23, this is actually, like I said, it's a lot better against cover for a drop. The quarter on the right won't guard it, especially if you bring the in route from his side. So you see how he drifts down, and then you can kind of get this ball over the top. But again, and as you see right there, in Madden 23, it's just a little bit of a nuance. So to illustrate this as best as I can for you, uh, I'm going to press these guys, bring this guy kind of down in the box. Because again, this is just to reflect a reality that is in the beta the quarter on the right side, when you bring an in route from him, from his side, or uh, like the tight end is coming from the quarter side, he will uh, suck in a lot more than if not. And this is a standard cover four beater. I mean, this is a Mills concept. This has been a cover four beater. This is a cover four beater in real life. So, you know, that's just some thing. Those are some things you need to think about. And then the last little piece of this that I wanted to show was a little bit of match coverage. Uh, so we'll just go back to 335 wide so that we can show you that. And like I said, if you want to learn the rest of the offense, there's a whole arsenal of things. I've got about 50 setups um, that I've just kind of been journaling as I've been playing the beta. And we're going to be releasing an updated Trips Tight End ebook um, in the month of July for day one launch for Madden 23. And then we're also going to update that. Again, the beauty of the Patreon is it updates. You get all of the stuff. So if you want to get um, if you want to get stuff like that, you know, just join the Patreon. It's only uh, 10 bucks to be a member so super cheap but anyways um here's 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 match coverage so with match coverage the tight end route is really really effective against match coverage um you'll see right here um actually accidentally adjusted my linebacker i don't think it was in a three rack um but this is a really really good adjustment for uh match coverage now the post on the left side is something you have to kind of think about again back to the route running discussion that post on the left you need route running and you see there there's the match and you see how he's just completely naked um the wheel route is actually super effective for match coverage as well and the reason why is because if you watch you'll see he'll actually pull a lot of defenders with him he'll take two or three he'll take the inside quarter on the left and he'll take the quarter flat defender up the vertical seam what that does for our tight end or our skinny post is it leaves him one-on-one -on -one over the top with the slant and all other things that we're doing underneath here so you know you've got a one-on-one -on -one. if you can win that matchup obviously we can't so we take our tight end post and again the it comes down to route running it really does so you need to have some route running in Madden 23, just like you need route running in Madden 22. But this is one of my favorite plays uh, in the game. And then lastly, if we get a traditional man thing, I didn't show this, but I will show it real quickly. This skinny post against traditional man-to-man, -man, just, you know, he's going to get that inside release. And this year you want to throw it on the cut right there and you want an aggressive catch, at least in my opinion. So that's how you run that concept. Again, if you don't like the wheel route, don't use the real route. You can do the same core principle with a flat just like you can with the wheel. So you see here, same thing. We'll still be able to, to attack match coverage. It's just now where they get a double team on the on the post. So that is how I would run this concept out of trips tied in in New England. Start using this play in the beta. I think you'll have a lot of success with it. Again, if you want to learn my Trips Tight End ebook, there's a lot of things that you can pick up today in our Patreon and start working on it. And then I'm going to update it literally within a week and um, show you everything that will cross apply to Madden 23, at least in the beta. Which, again, generally speaking, there's when they release a beta, there's fine tuning issues. There's not necessarily overhaul changes. Coverages aren't going to change a ton. Um, route combinations aren't going to change a ton. They may tune man coverage a little bit. They may tune the sheds a little bit. They may tune um, the run a little bit, you know, different things like that. But over and overall, the core principles are going to cross apply. So I really encourage you, if you want to get a jump start on Madden 23, to become a Patreon member. It's only $10. And it will. I think it will really, we're going to have a lot of content that will help you prepare and be ready for the day one launch of Madden 23, which I personally believe will be the best Madden that we've played um, 
probably in recent history. I, I can't remember a Madden. You could say maybe Madden 16, but I honestly, I think this will be probably the best Madden in a long time. This is a very good game, and they're, if they fine-tune some things and just kind of clean up some of the rough spots in the beta, which is to be expected, I think we'll be playing one of the best games we've ever played. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.